Jean au corner, le moment de répondre pour les Toulousains de s'offrir un peu d'espoir en fin de match avec la tête de Christopher Julien qui marque à nouveau en Liga mais c'est un petit événement parce qu'il l'avait. So how the title is in our own hands with two games of the season remaining, I'm not entirely sure. PSG have been most charitable. But if we could win our game today, we'd go into the last weekend of the season knowing that victory will secure us the crown regardless of what PSG do. We're back for both of the final two games of the season today. A win today, and if PSG lose, well, we'll be crown champions with a game to spare. I don't see that happening. PSG are in action against Valenciennes, who are bottom of the table already relegated nothing for them to play for we're up against brest on the face of it that looks like an easy tie but brest beat us earlier in the season and we've got a dark sense of foreboding about this game so first of all let's look at who's not available because we've got players missing in the back line and in midfield kevin Garin, a player who has been pretty instrumental for us at the back there with his aerial presence and his all-round physicality He's been injured for a couple of weeks. He won't be available today. Neither will his central defensive partner, Gaffaru Mensa. The wonder kid has also been out injured. He's a big miss for us. He's left-footed centre-half as well. He's not going to be available today. And then in the midfield, one of our key men is missing. Salim Chan has contributed 16 assists as well as three goals for us. He's been injured. He's not going to be involved today either. All three. I've got a sniff of being involved on the final day of the season, but they're not going to be available for us today. And then up front, we've got the Al Blushi dilemma. He's missed so much of the season. He's come back and he has got himself six goals since returning from that broken leg. But he's got 15 starts now, 18 appearances in total. And in the last, what, eight fixtures or so? not being able to find the back of the net it's not like he's not being involved he's still integral in our build-up play and we've been playing him as a pressing forward on attack i'm thinking of tweaking that role today but leaving him in the starting lineup he likes to be a deep lying forward and if brest are playing a back three well it might be nice to try and drag one of those center halves out of position Maybe tracking al blushi as he drops deep to receive the ball he's six foot five he's physical he can hold it up Maybe if he can bring a defender with him, it might give onrushing Mazala space to move into or bar space to move in behind their back line. So we're going to stick with Al Blushi today, but on a slightly different role to normal. You'll also see, due to our lack of midfielders, in particular Cham being unavailable, we're going to be playing Carlot today as a Mazala. Now, he's a winger, so this may look like a little bit of a rogue move. But we've played him as Mazala for the last couple of games because Mazala's naturally, especially with that attack function, find themselves in wide areas. He's used to being out there on the right-hand side of the pitch. He's incredibly pacey. He's got good dribbling, good technique. It'd be good to see whether he can help open up what I think is going to be a very stubborn defence today with his movement and his pace and his delivery into the box. This is... 
a little bit of a tetchy, nervy affair. I'm not entirely confident of getting a result in this first game of the two. Let's get out there and see how we get on. Okay, we're underway. We are the away team for today's game. We're going to be in our lilac shirts. And we are hoping that we might be able to drag the opposition out of position, get an early goal. Maybe make them come at us a little bit. Otherwise, I think they're going to be very defensive. They're in the relegation zone, but they've still got a chance of staying up. They need this result just as much as we do, but for different reasons. So we're going to see whether we can try and break them down today. It's going to be difficult. We're going to need a little bit of magic from the front players. We've got big Dave Labate in the midfield for us today because he relishes the big games. Hopefully that will make a difference. We forced a couple of corners early on. Frankie Nicks can't get on the end of that one, but we're still in. Giorgia, he's hit it straight at the keeper. And chances like that, you'd like to tuck away. Okay, on the 30-minute mark, PSG are 2-0 up now. They are top of the table as things stands, and we have not really looked like threatening Brest. We've got our other tactic up our sleeve for the second half. We could play with width and a 5-2-3. We could even lose one of the centre-halves and put an extra man into midfield with that tactic. But I'm quite hopeful that the Mazalas are going to open this team up eventually. We've got Sturvold as the playmaker, Carvot. We've got wing-backs coming forward. And one of them, Kyrgyzstan, has hit a long-range effort into the top corner. That is a vital little breakthrough in the first half. We worked that quite nice little back heel from Sturvol. Carvot as the Mazala sets him up. There doesn't look a lot on there. He has just hit one. And sometimes when you're facing a stubborn defensive team, a goal from outside of the box is a little gift. Look at our XG, 0.35. We've offered very little PSG. A 3-0 up. Their day is done already. We've still got work to do going into the half-time talk. I'm going to have a little word with the boys, tell them that an XG of 0.43 and only two shots on target is not what we're after. And we'll see you for the second half. Okay, back underway. Around the hour mark, I've made a change. I've actually taken Lansana Bar off because he was on a 6.5. And I've brought in Zini Erdem, who's on loan from Marseille. He's not been involved that much this season. But I'm hoping that his pace and his form for our second team might be able to get him a goal today. We're also going to just have a quick look at replacing some of these tired fullbacks. And then we'll get out there for the final crucial 18 minutes. We've got a highlight. We've got nine minutes to go. If we concede now, that is going to make it very, very difficult going into the final day of the season. We've managed to get the ball clear temporarily. This looks like it's their highlight. We've got missed tackles. We've got men back. We should be able to defend this. If we can rob it, we can break. But they look like they're playing over the top of us. We've given the ball back to them again. Now they're in the area. And they've scored. And we're looking at a linesman's flag, I think. We're looking for a referee to save us. They're checking it. They are checking it. The cock was on the target. It's been disallowed. That's a little bit of a warning shot. We're going to have a very quick look at the tactics, see whether there's anything we can do just to tighten things up a touch. Still got a minute to go and they're on the ball. This could be a proper highlight as well. We need to win the ball back and keep it. We're just giving it to them. And they've got space behind our defence if they can play a through ball. Every time we're making a tackle, it's going straight to a breast player. Can we break now? Erdem has got nobody up there in support. 30 seconds left. They're deep in their half. They need to get it forward quickly. We need to try and win the ball. How is he in acres of space over there? They've won a late corner. Oh, goodness me. We've got fullbacks not tight enough to their players. We're over the allotted injury time. We just need to head this one clear. Fal has got up and headed it over the bar. No need to rush. Take your time. That was a little bit of a heart pounder of a victory, but we've done it. We've got a 1-0 win. We're going into the end of the season knowing that a victory and the title is ours, but we know.
because we've played FM for a long time. There's twists and turns to come on the final day of the season. Here we go then, it all comes down to this. We're in action against 8th place Ren. PSG are at home against 10th place Montpellier. If we win, we are the champions. And if we draw and PSG win, we're going to lose the title on goal difference. It's in our hands, but we know that the FM gods can be a fickle mistress. Let's get out there and see if we can achieve FM21 redemption or if there's going to be FM21 heartbreak again. <laughs> Okay, we're underway with a home team. We've made one little tweak since the last game. Chan is back from injury. He's back into the side for Carvot. He's not fully fit. As I thought we'd given away a penalty inside 15 seconds. But I reckon we can get 60 minutes out of Chan. And with his assists, he's been pretty crucial to us this season. And he gets a header away there. And we are underway. Sturvold is breaking forward for us. We've got numbers up if he can find them. An early breakthrough would be the dream scenario, but Sturvold is running down blind alleys. Can we play out now? We've got it to big Dave Labate. Again, he's got numbers through the middle. He's been hacked down and not got a free kick for it. It's a good tackle. It's actually Ren that are coming forward. We've won it back. Gioria. This is a little bit end-to-end, -end, isn't it? This is not a controlled opening to the game. But Lansana bars in and he's hit the goalkeeper on the chest. That's the best chance we've had so far. Fell to bar and he couldn't finish. Here he is though. He's won us a second corner in quick succession. Chan's back in the team taking these corners. Where well, he's got a few of his assists this season. He's gone short again. Can they work something between them? Chan's in. Chan's in and this is why we brought him back from the bench. Oh, we could have left him out because of his fitness issues, but the little magician has popped up in the 14th minute. We don't even get to see a replay of it. Where? Where's the replay? I don't know, but he definitely counted when no replay came up. I thought it had been disallowed for a moment. Let's pause. PSG are at 0-0 against Montpellier. We're in the box seat now. Another goal before half-time would be great and we've got a corner again and again it's Barr and Chan working these short ones and it's a replay and Chan's had another go and their goalkeeper has nibbled it around the post. Okay racing towards the half hour mark PSG are still tied at nil nil. Not a lot happening in our game we've just noticed PSG have now gone one nil up. They're not going to throw that one away. We need to do our bit. We've got Al Blushi, he's had a header, it's straight into the arms of the keeper. And we are just clinging on to our 1-0 lead, it is fragile. We could get stung in the second half. 1-0 is a, a slender margin to be winning by. And Wren are coming at us, they've got the ball down the right, they're working it around the edge of our box. But we could break, Barr's got numbers in the middle again, play it through the centre bar, he has! It's Chan again. Oh, and this time he can't finish it off. Oh, it's a pass back to the keeper. That was easier than the one that he scored. Okay, I guess you'd say that since the opening, Wren haven't created a great deal. We've not been impressive either, really. Could be the most important team talk of the season. It's certainly the most important 45 minutes of the season coming right up. We've given the ball away, and this is ominous. They're getting down the sides of us. We need to try and win it back in counter. Oh, but we relied on Bruno Nix to save us, and we're straight into our own highlight. 4-0 to PSG now. They've got their game won, and after a quiet start to the second half, the highlights in our game are coming quickly. Labate's in. It's all pretty congested in that box. That was a nothing ball in. And now we've got three players trying to chase down their man. BA's won it. Gioria's going to slowly regain possession of the ball. Now we're going to work an opening. We're not. Gioria's been tackled. Now we've got it back again. We've given it away again. The nerves in the team. 
this palpable and oh, they've had an effort that's gone over the bar but you can see we are not playing cool and composed football i guess the whole of france is holding its breath after 18 years of psg winning the title well, this would be rather the occasion we've managed to get hold of the ball al blushi we've not really seen but he's got it forward to bar and he's in again and he's hit the keeper again and he's pulling a rating above a seven, but that is two great opportunities he's missed. And it's actually from set plays where we've looked the most likely to score. And now we've got the ball with Sturvold. There's an opportunity to be worked here. BA's got it. He's gone wide. Geria. And he's oh, tried to slide it forward to Bar again, and he's through again. And this time he's hit the post. And the highlights are coming thick and fast, but none of them are leading to a second goal. Do you leave Barr on the pitch because he's getting chances, or do you make a change because he's missing them all? They've now had Fabio Blanco sent off. We're going to go in, we're going to have a good look at who's fit, a good look at who's tiring, and we're going to see whether we're going to make any changes for the last 22 minutes. We're at least playing better football now. We've got Labate in. And he's tried to dig a little pass through. He's had a good sight of the goal. And it's been charged down. This feels like it has got late heartbreak written all over it. Because we can't find the goal we need. We've gone down in the box again. He's given a penalty. And Al Blushi's on them. And he's not scored in months. But he's a good penalty taker. I think he's only missed one. The penalty's not even confirmed, by the way. It's awarded. And Al Blush is coming forward. It's been a long time for the big man, but this one's a title clincher. If he can score it, he's put it down the middle, I think. Their goalie was right there. I think he could have reached out a paw and tipped it over. Maybe Al Blush struck fear into him just by his glance. Because it was not a great penalty. Al Blushi is still playing from memory. But now we're 2-0 up. We've got 16 minutes left. We just need to keep Wren at bay. We've got two more substitutes up our sleeve as well. But we've let him in early. And they've dug one straight back from the kickoff. And it's as you were. We've now still got that one goal slender margin. We're looking alright for fitness. But this... Well, this was poor defensive play. We've got the men there. We've got the men there and it's just a little bit of movement. And not any movement from our goalkeeper. And now we're back at 2-1. <laughs> FM gives with one hand and quickly takes away. We're back into the tactics. We've got two more changes up our sleeve. We're going to see if we're going to make one of them now. Okay, Larson Pleem on for Big Dave Labarty is the final change. And we're into the highlights and Bar has had a pretty wasteful afternoon. If he could just get a goal late on for us. And he can get a goal late on for us. And we were right to keep him on the pitch. He's hit the keeper twice. Ah, oh, he's had some great chances. But this one he made all himself. He's gone down the left. He's got players chasing him back. He jinks inside. Stays on his feet rifles one into the corner of the net and now i think we need to throw on the full time wasting tempo goes down time wasting goes up we're playing a 4-4-2 we're just trying to get belushi on the ball to hold it up we're protecting fullbacks we've got defensive wingers going unapologetically just trying to hold on now Let's just see this game into injury time. We've got four minutes of it. We're on 91, 92. I don't think they're coming back. I think FM1, FM21 Redemption could be on the cards. We've got 10 seconds of the added four minutes. Goal here, by the way, and we're having kittens if Wren score it. We're now up to the end of the added on time. Show me the podium. Show me the title. The players are going around the pitch. Where is our confetti? Where is our march up to the podium? Well done, lads. You've sealed the title with your performance today. I feel a bit shortchanged. 
Do we not get to see? Apparently we don't. Have we definitely won the title? Is that definitely the end of the season? 20 teams, 19 games, home and away, 38. Well, we've won the title. I want to see confirmation that we've won the title. Where's the little C next to our name? Oh, I was nervous for a moment there. I was thinking, is there a playoff? Is there a an added group stage at the end? There isn't. We were just robbed of our confetti moment. But we have done it. Let's see this in all of its glory. We've bounced up from the second division. And in our first season in the top flight, we've beaten PSG to the title by two clear points. We've lost four games all season. We've won 30. Crucially, that's one more than PSG were able to do. And we have sealed ourselves a title. And I have to be honest, that feels pretty good. PSG have won. The last 17 in a row. Toulouse have come in and nicked one. Is that FM21 redemption? I think it is. I think after having been sacked by Trump Stalin, to come over to France to a club that's just been relegated to Ligue 2, get promotion at the first time of asking, and as a newly promoted club win the title, when PSG have won nearly two decades worth of Ligue 1 crowns, I think that is FM21 redemption, but is there a cherry on top? I think there might be, because of course we're in the Champions League next season, and you're going back a fair few FM since I've won a Champions League title. But maybe if we could do that with Toulouse, well, that would be FM21 redemption extreme.